on November 30th, 2021, is a day that has forever changed my life. It burns into my body like a cigarette burn. Enough to scar, but always a constant reminder. The day I found out that my daughter's life was taken. A life that was still so young and full of life. After that day, she became a statistic, a victim, a planned act of tragedy. To the waste that took my daughter's life, that name will never come out of my mouth. That life will cease to exist to me, and just like trash, it will be forgotten. So while the attention that he has been seeking for this horrendous crime, you will get no reaction from me. But again, this is the life he chose. If he really wanted to make a different outcome, he, would continue to, he wouldn't continue to make the excuses he does now. The suffering will come when he least expects it. The regret will consume you as you sit alone with the only, voice, only voices in your head. Guilt would eat away at your soul. This might not happen tomorrow, next year, or 10 years, but it will happen. As you get older, you will realize the path you've chosen, and it will haunt you. I remember hearing a squish sound against my right ear, and it was the sound of carpet mixed with blood going into my ear. I started yelling for help, but when I say yelling, I mean a shout that was loud enough for someone around me to hear, yet quiet enough for the shooter not to hear me. No one ever came, but I did hear something. I reached my hand over my head, and I realized it was Hannah. I could hear her groaning beside me. Realizing that I wasn't alone, I kept trying to reassure her. Someone will come help us. Don't worry. Just keep breathing. Just please stay with me. I said that to her a thousand times. At one point, a SWAT team member came running past us. He was the first person I had seen. I pleaded to him, please help us. He did a double take and said, someone will come back for you. Hannah and I were left in utter loneliness. And I thought I was dying. I kept repeating my mom's phone number to make sure my brain was functioning. I was creating math problems in my head and solving them to make sure I wasn't dying. I continued to yell for help. 15, min 15 minutes of laying there absolutely helpless. 15 minutes of lying in a pool of my own blood. 15 minutes of hearing Hannah St. Juliana's last sounds while stroking her hair and trying to encourage her. With that, the court having read the PSI and being fully familiar with the defendant and the underlying facts of this case, believes that it is in the best interest of justice as well as proportionate to the needs of this case to sentence the defendant as follows. As it relates to docket 2022-279-506-FC, count one, terrorism causing death. Sentences of the court is that the defendant shall serve life without the possibility of parole, credit for eight days served. Counts two through five, homicide, first degree, premeditated murder, juvenile defendant. Sentence of the court is that defendant shall serve the rest of his life without the possibility of parole with the Michigan Department of Corrections, credit for eight days served. On counts six through 12, assault with intent to murder. On each of the counts, defendant is sentenced to 18 years and nine months to 80 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections, credit for eight days served. On counts 13 through 24, those being felony firearm, defendant is sentenced to two years with the Michigan Department of Corrections on each of those counts with credit for 730 days served.